Hello and welcome back with another SPS video and today I'm on FNSPS BTX lines. This server is relaunching tomorrow the 6th of February 1 p.m. EST and yeah so we're gonna be showcasing the server a little bit. I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway as well for the relaunch and also we're gonna be streaming the release tomorrow and that's gonna be hella hella fun. So we have four different account modes you guys will be able to choose tomorrow on release. So normal Ironman, ultimate Ironman and the group Ironman. I'm gonna just choose the normal one for now and yeah. The pin is going to be 1234. Feel free to go ahead and hack my account. And yeah, when you find this one, boys, where did you find the server from? Make sure to type in Wolkis, boys. You're going to get a juicy, juicy reward for that. It's going to be available by tomorrow, so you're going to get a juicy starter pack. Make sure to use the promo code Wolkis when you log in. So first things first, the giveaway is going to be 50 treasure hunter keys to one lucky winner. These are fairly OP. I'd say around worth 50 to 100 bucks. So make sure to sign up for the giveaway, boys. Like the video, comment, and give me a number and subscribe to my channel. This will be going all to one winner. We're going to be picking the winner tomorrow on stream. So that's going to be a very, very good head start. And yeah, so as I've said, this is the beta client. We have a couple people testing around already. So this re-release will be pretty, pretty insane. This server used to have 200 plus people online. So you probably know what Athens PS is. A lot of big customers, PS YouTubers were also playing it. And yeah, I'm hyped that we will be doing a server tour right now. I'm hyped for today, tomorrow's stream and also for the release. So these are going to be the start items. We're going to be starting off a couple boxes, a couple sets we can take. I'm going to bank this for now because it's not too interesting. But however, you guys will see this one. Don't forget to use the promo code, by the way, again. So in other words, we can definitely say that this server used to be definitely the one of the number top one customer SPS out for uh, months which is actually pretty insane if we like remember all the other servers that has been on at that time as well. But yeah, Athens definitely was on the top of the customer SPS servers and I think they can definitely do it again with some proper uh, advertisement and everything. So I think it's a very anticipated uh, relaunch. So this is still the beta client. So in case you see some buggy things, whatever, everything will be fixed by tomorrow. They have a big, big update by tonight with the last fix and everything. So a lot of a few things might change throughout the video that you guys want to see tomorrow in stream, maybe. But yeah, that's the beta client. So we're gonna be using that one, of course. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be starting uh, a series on here. So that's gonna be very, very cool. Frequently streams and videos will be coming out in here. So that's gonna be very, very nice. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. Also, they've hired a bunch of very, very high tier developers. So they have a proper team this time around uh, with more developers, more skilled developers. So big content will be coming towards you, boys. So first things first, let's have a look into the homer. So that's where you guys are going to be starting out. So over here, we have the bank. We have player owned shop, which is very nice. You guys will be able to buy and sell items right over there. We have the upgrade stone, which is a very cool feature on the server. The interface is so freaking clean, boys. Not going to lie. And here you got weapons, armor, accessories, and miscellany. So when you click on an item, for example, the minigun, you can go for the, the do minigun. There is a one bill tokens requirement which is 100 and a success rate of 20 percent to do that and you can go all the way up to the the best ones in the game it same works for battle staffs as well as swords and bows so for example for the custom scythe of Witcher, which is actually one of the best ones in the game you guys require 250,000 one bill token success rate is 40 percent the same works for armors so for example here you guys can see all the different items you guys will be able to uh, upgrade they go all the way from melee range as well as mage accessories same for here you got a bunch of rings boots capes whatever wings you guys guys will be able to upgrade and there are some miscellaneous well so we got mystery box to upgrade that's pretty cool dude uh crystal keys super mystery boxes uh lamps everything you guys can imagine will be able to upgrade right here i'd say let's test this out so we grabbed ourselves 100 million one wall tickets and 100 mystery boxes so let's see if we will be able to upgrade these bad boys there's 10 percent success rate only on these ones okay so let's try and upgrade this one and have we actually failed oh no actually yeah unsuccessful we failed that is a rip and another 50 let's see yes we managed to we got two super m boxes nice that is pretty pretty neat so you can see the required like you need 50 mystery boxes to get yourself two and we actually managed to get two super mystery boxes. okay let's see if we can upgrade this one 10 percent success rate only we got two of these bad boys so let's see how that goes and the first one trying to tempt and we managed to what the heck bro rng seems already to be insane on this server okay and that is the last box we actually get. And we got an Ultra Mystery Box, not too shabby. You can find another upgrade zone right over here with the same interface. So you guys will be able to upgrade a lot. I think it's definitely big content of custom servers that we have all the different altars. 
uh, where you guys can switch prayers, mage books, everything, Theofing stalls, and over here is the treasure chest. So I'm not going to be showcasing how we're going to be like getting stuff because it's not fully implemented yet with the loot and everything, mostly like placeholders and shit. But this is the interface, looks very nice. And here you guys will be able to use crystals in order to get better loot. There's a bunch of different rarities that you guys can see and then you can spin or quick spin. We're going to be showcasing that tomorrow on stream though. Over here, we have the group Iron Man Manager as well, where you guys will be able to store your items, pick items from your bag and everything. And yeah, a bunch of other different NPCs over here. If we run to the north, we have all the different shops on the left-hand side. Slayer Masters in the middle. And if we go to east, so right-hand side, we have a bunch of chests. So we do have item grinder chest, burn chest, crystal chest, and also the Kulu Master chest, not to share. Also, there's prestiging for a bunch of custom items that you guys can purchase. So you guys can go ahead, prestige your skill, get prestige points, and then you can spend it on these juicy custom items. All right, time to have a look into the teleports. So to teleport around, click on this little T, or you go over here as you want. This interface will be opening. So in here, we guys will be finding all the different monsters, dungeon, minigames, killing, and cities. So, um, right, so I... Think we're gonna be starting. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much in depth because you guys will see it everything tomorrow. Just gonna mention some highlights. So, as we can see here, a bunch of different bosses. If you go over the boss, you'll always see the like the most important loot you guys can grind for. And uh, we have a huge list of different monsters you guys will be able to grind with a bunch of different items as well as fragments which are important to collect. And yeah, so just check that out. A lot of like normal bosses that you've seen before on other servers like even old school RuneScape servers, but you also have the custom ones for example, this Oreo boss with his own unique Oreo tool set. Dungeon-wise, we have a bunch of different dungeons with NPCs, mini games. There are a bunch of different raids. We're gonna showcase these in just a moment. Uh, skilling teleports, a bunch of different skillings teleports, as you can see, in order to max out your account. And finally, the city teleport. So, mini game-wise, uh, I'm just gonna be going over a couple ones here. So, we have Vorago, Blood Raids, Hope Raids, Barrows, Fight Caves, Fight Pits, Pest Control, Dwell Arena, Warrior Skilled, Respite, Disaster, and Nomad. So, I'm gonna be showcasing Blood Raids and the Hope Raids, which are, in my opinion, some of the highlights of the server. Column, Column, Hope Raids, for example, you guys will be teleported straight into the lobby. So, you have this little interface here. Uh, we're gonna be creating the party, and we are gonna go in solo so select difficulty we're gonna do beginner you have three different uh, options and we are straight in it so thankfully we are a god so we have 115,000 in every skill so we're using the starter gear but we're a fucking god so we can literally one shot everything so after completing the first one we will be able to go to the next one and we are gonna kill a few more NPCs on the left hand side. You can always see the um, yeah time you've spent in here, and also the members how often they've died and everything. And we get into the next room. And obviously the NPC is getting harder and harder in each room we come. And then at the end we're gonna have a boss fight. And here we go, boys. This is the Hope Devourer. So he has some mechanics as well. So we don't want to die. But we're literally dealing so much damage that we literally just one shot this bad boy. And we did get ourselves a 401 build tickets, not to shab. And then again, you can start right over again. The harder the difficulty, the better the loot, obviously the harder the raid. Column column blood raids, you go to the blood raids, create the party, and then go straight in again. So, let's see, uh, selective kill, we're gonna go beginner again. We're gonna be doing harder ones on stream and with like our account and everything, just, just for like showcase purposes. So, a huge ass area here. So we have these blood mages over here. I'm not sure how much damage they deal. I just see like this fire there spawning, which is dealing a lot of damage. So you don't want to stand on these bad boys. And oh shit, okay, we're being attacked by this major in the middle. In the middle. So we kind of wanna attack him. But we have to kill the majors first. Oh, okay, we have to kill each one that has the portal under him. That's pretty cool. So uh, we killed all the majors, and then we go ahead and kill the boss in the middle. And we slayed the bad boy. Very nice. And we got ourselves. I'm not even sure what we got, honestly. But the second wave is started. The thing is, I can't use soul split. So that's a little bit sad. So we continue. We slay again the blood mages. I hope. No, no, I can't use soul split. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like this. Or if it's just like a bug, maybe. But again, it's the same system. You kill the mages which have the portal under them. And then you go and slay the one in the middle. Dude, this one is looking so freaking cool, dude. Lord Witcher. And yeah, we're gonna die, unfortunately. But regardless, very, very cool raid. Alright, after killing all of them, we are able to tank Lord Vision now. Let's go and slay this bad boy. We have 160 HP left, so we might be dying. But I think we might be respawning the same room, so hopefully we'll see. And the final wave is started, and let's go. That is the Blood Ranger right there. With a very cool animation as well, so that is pretty, pretty neat. So we gotta kill the Blood Mages, and then we will be able 
to kill this bad boy. But we're gonna die. I wanna see if we're gonna be teleported out or if we're just gonna stay in the room. Holy shit, boys. That's gonna be so close. We actually can dodge the attacks of this bad boy. I think if you get into his attack style, then you can actually get a lot of damage. And we actually managed to do it. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. And we got some super boxes. 81 super boxes, boys. That is pretty awesome. Five minutes to complete. And of course, for all my gambling addicts out there, uh, there's also a gambling zone because a lot of people actually will be gambling because we expect at least 100 plus people online. I have no clue how many people will be online tomorrow, but I think it's going to be a very, very cool release. So uh, yeah, gambling will be also here. I'm definitely going to be doing some gambling content on it as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's try and make some cash in here. And yeah, if you guys would like to be part of Athens PS re-release, then definitely make sure to join the Discord. The link will be in the description, boys. Release again 1 p.m. EST tomorrow, 6th of February. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and give me a name down below, subscribe to my channel to update the giveaway, boys, and I'll see you tomorrow with a release stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you in the Discord. Make sure to join it. Links in the description, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching.